What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top right hand corner of Lost and Found Ellie, playing with the red Protoss pieces, we have a player who goes by the name of Petite Drogo. And on the opposite side of the map, Playing with the blue Protoss pieces, his opponent, who is currently down 1-0 and is going to try to get the game back in his favor, his name is Eclair. So guys, you guys can check out game number one between Petit Drogo and Eclair on the YouTube channel right now. I'm very interested to see what uh, our both Protoss players decide to do in game number two here. It looks like a probe was sent across the map very, very early on, so it looks like he is going to, what, proxy a couple of gateways over here? Maybe a Stargate, possibly? We'll see, maybe a Forge? I'm not really sure what he's planning on doing. Probably gateways, I would assume? So it's going to be two, okay, two gateways so far here. So he is going to plan on getting extremely aggressive. He wants to end this game right here and right now. It looks like Petit Drogo has got a pretty good setup, though, himself. Two gateways going up. He looks like he's going to get maybe planning on getting aggressive. So this is going to get very interesting very fast. Uh, four gateways are going to be coming up here for our uh, blue Protoss player. Petit Drogo looks like he is going to, you know, have a good amount of aggression that's going to be coming out of uh, the Protoss player in blue. And it looks like uh, Cyber Next Core is going to be coming up here. And it looks like, oh my God. Oh my God. Petit Drogo, just too good. He's too good. He knows exactly what's going on. There is four gateways that are going to be coming up here. He knows exactly what's happening, and it looks like he is going to probably be ready for this very, very quickly here, uh, to say the least. He uh, is not going to expand. He knows now that there is a proxy for gateways that are going to be coming up here. All uh, It's going to be all zealots coming out of here. He's going to have a lot of aggression very quickly. A couple of shield batteries are going to be coming up here right now. Three shield bat batteries to be exact. Two adepts are going to be coming out, but he is going to be met very early on here, very early, with some zealot play. So the zealots are going to try to do what they can, at least at this point right now. They're going to try to do as much damage as they possibly can. This is basically an all-in here for a clear. Uh, and it looks like they're going to get the surround on these zealots. These zealots are going to get surrounded. And it looks like PT Drogo with the beautiful uh, micro there. A lot of these uh, probes are now um, not going to be very active here. But they are going to get back to work for zealots at least at this point. And it looks like right now there's going to be zealots versus adepts here. And the shield batteries are giving so much value to PT Drogo. It looks like all of these probes are going to try to get the, the, the kills here on some of these uh, on some of these zealots he is trying to end this game right here and right now they're gonna try to get this around once again on these zealots and again and again it seems like petit drogo has been able to push back his opponent at least at this point more and more of these zealots are gonna be coming but as the longer that this goes it's gonna go in favor of petit drogo he's got so many of these shield batteries that are gonna give him so much value here all of these zealots are just gonna be killed for practically free at least at this point and it looks like at this point petit drogo may very well decide to start pushing across the map why not he's researching the warp gate right now so we can get these uh he can get these gateways uh, turned into warp gates, and he can start getting more and more uh, kills here. Just more and more of these zealots are going to be coming out here for our Protoss player in blue. And I don't know how long Aclair is going to be able to hold on here. Petit Drogo is playing this so, so well. It looks like there is no other backup plan, at least at this point, because more and more zealots are going to be coming up here. And it looks like the zealots are going to try to get some kills on, on these adepts, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It looks like Petit Drogo has just continued continuously been pushing the Protoss player in blue back and more and more uh, uh, pieces of army are coming up here for our Protoss player in red here and now he's going to add on another gateway here he's going to get um, healed up by these shield batteries and the longer this game goes on I don't know how our uh our blue Protoss player is going to be able to hold on because the army of Petit Drogo is just getting so hard. The GG has come up, everyone. And Petit Drogo just beautifully plays his opponent in a best of three series and wins it two games to nothing. Eclair, I feel, went for uh, kind of uh, a cheesy kind of game but I felt that it was uh, possibly something that he may have been able to get away with. But Petit Drogo was just too, 
too good of a player, and he outsmarts his opponent in a 2-0 fashion. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Petit Drogo and Aikler, and if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.